this was a very exciting session and we had three very excellent speakers who were um, experts in their fields. And um, the discussion that we had were MRD assessment around allergenic stem cell transplantation for adult AML patients, as well as in the setting of pediatric ALL. And we also focused on what MRD could mean for the elderly. So the first presenter was Dr. Sylvie Freeman, and uh, she um, discussed um, very elegantly how MRD can be used for assessment of allergenic stem cell transplantation. An example would be um, conditioning, you know, whether patients who are MRD positive should receive more intensive conditioning based on the data published by Chris Harrigan and JCO a few years ago. But she also highlighted how very well prognostic MRD is in the setting of allergenic stem cell transplantation, as well as selecting patients for allergenic stem cell transplantation. And I think that is a very important point, that uh, it is at times unclear for patients with favorable or intermediate risk AML where um, what the role is of an allergenic stem cell transplantation. And uh, Sylvie Friedemann highlighted that patients in the favorable risk group who are MRD positive, for example, patients who remain MRD positive for MPM1 can benefit from allergenic stem cell transplantation as compared to those who become MRD negative. The other aspect would be in the intermediate risk group where again, um, MRD can help us to select patients for allergenic stem cell transplantation. And I think these were the major points in the first presentation. And uh, looking at pediatric ALL, uh, we must say that here MRD has been playing a much bigger role for a longer time period as compared to adult AML. And that is due to the technique in pediatric ALL, um, MRD is much better established technically and here, Dr. De Haas uh, gave a very nice presentation how MRD is not only used for selecting patients for allergenic stem cell transplantation or for using a regimen that is less intensive, for instance, for patients who have become MRD negative very early, but also in clinical trials that there's already MRD evaluation that can help us to select patients for CAR T cell therapy in pediatric ALL. And that is something that is really novel because before we didn't really saw about think about MRD and CAR T cells. And um, I think we will all be excited to see what that trial uh, will give for information. And now the last presentation was given by Dr. Uh, Van Sloys, also from the Netherlands, who um, discussed uh, first of all, prognostically, how to use a no new score, the AML 60 plus score for um, using uh, for predicting outcome in elderly AML patients. And here, uh, other markers are being used um, as compared to the ELN 2022 profile. And again, also clinical parameters such as age, LDH, et cetera, are also kind of um, relevant in this score. And um, again, the last kind of part that always comes up is, you know, when do you use flow MRD as compared to NGS-based MRD? What are the pros and cons? And our consensus was that as of now, um, it's most ideal to use both techniques side by side and to compare the results and then draw the conclusion for the patient. So these were kind of the highlights of the MRD session.